These little videos that you're seeing in front of you are made from still photographs. Any photograph can be made to move like this. That was a waterfall still photograph and I made the water move. So you can do this with any of your photographs and I'll show you how in just a second, whether it be your hair or the water in the sky or flames or anything else. G'day, I'm Aussie Mark. Thanks very much for stopping by my video. And my aim on this channel is to help you make better videos. And one way perhaps is to use this app. It's um, available for both iOS and for Android. And it's called Zootropic. The link will be down in the description. And basically it's a, a case of um, grabbing your photographs, putting some directions onto the photograph, um, some arrows to point in the direction where you want the movements to be, and some stops to tell you where you want the movements to stop or things that you don't want to move. Let's jump into Zootropic and uh, see if you can make any little videos of your existing photographs or perhaps some new ones that you can then bring to life for any of your social media. So let's click on Zootropic Free. And this is the last project that I was working on. So to start a new project, we simply go to the top left corner. And if you click on My Memories, it'll show you the projects that we've done before. But we're going to create a new memory now. Just before we go to, the, to do that though, let's have a look at what else is available. You've got tutorials, so there are videos explaining exactly how to do this. Um, you can share the app on social media, of course. If you've only got the free version like me and you want to upgrade to the professional version, then by all means just hit that. Um, you can rate the app and let's have a click on Zootropic of the day so you can see some other examples. So this is actually um, the current Zootropic um, image of the day created by the Zootropic app. If I click on see more and we scroll down, you've got all sorts of images just some amazing things that you can do with this have a look at this one for example these venetian blinds look at that how cool is that makes it look like the light outside's moving and changing the shadows positions if we go to the next one um, we'll look at what have we got on this one look at that looks like the woods melting away and the furs moving on the fox Almost looks like the whole image is, seems to be moving down even though it's staying perfectly still. Pretty cool. Um, you can come in and look at all of these yourself. Is I'll just show you one last one which is this awesome drone image. Look at that. It looks like the child is hanging onto the drone and holding a camera in his other hand and the backgrounds are moving away behind him. Very, very clever. Alright, so let's just go back to um, where we were though. Back to Whoops, get rid of that. We want to go back to Zootropic. So we're going back to here. And let's start. As I said, click in the top left hand corner. Go to my uh, new memory. Whoops, new memory. Then you could either take a photograph um, there and then with this um, app, or you can just go to gallery. And I'm going to gallery. Then I'm going to click on gallery and I'm going to open um, an image that I gathered. Where did I put it? Was it in downloads? Yes, it's this one. So I'm just uh, uploading this um, new image into my app and this image is of a family. Mum and dad and a little bub playing in the surf. You may well have um, family shots like this at the beach. Um, you want to animate the sky or animate the sea, and we're going to animate the sea in this particular one. So the first thing that um, you'll notice down here on the bottom uh, bottom is the uh, different icons, motion, sequence, stabilize, select, zoom, mask, erase, scroll over a little bit, and you've got crop and um, no audio. So let's make a start. The first thing, um, that you need to do is click on the zoom function because you want to be able to get in reasonably close so one of the things that I generally do first is you decide what what bits you want to keep still absolutely still and I definitely want to keep these people still so I then click on the mask option and um, you can see that little red dot there um, which you can resize 
Oops, I'll just, I'll just hit undo on that one because I clicked it in the wrong spot. Oops, so we'll go erase. And it's going to erase all that for me. Okay, so then we go back to mask. Yeah, so there's a slider on the bottom for larger or smaller. If I slide that up, you can see that makes a difference there. So then just using your finger on the screen, you can mask out the things that you definitely do not want to move. And that's what I'm doing here. So you can see when I touch the screen, it actually shows an enlarged version or a magnified version of um, a close-up so that you get to see exactly where you're going and exactly what you want to do. If you make a mistake, as you saw, you just hit the erase button. So I definitely want her to stay and I definitely want the little baby to stay. So we'll just quickly do that. leg down there of course and up to his shoulder and up to his head and let's just finish this off as quick as we can okay so I definitely want all of those things to be non-moving just touching up a little bit that I missed and and if I go back to zoom I can then move it back down and you can see that's all masked so that's definitely not going to move so now if I um, now want to start adding some movement what I'm going to try and do is if you have a look let's zoom back up on the water see how the water is breaking on the inside edge um, the, the part closest to the sand so that indicates to me that the water is moving back out on the feet so we will zoom back out a little bit and I'm going to use the first of these two major controls here. The, um, the two main ones you use are motion and sequence. If I click on motion, I can then put in either short or long arrows in the direction that I want um, this to go. So if I want this water um, by their feet to be moving away, I just click on sort of the right and then move my finger over to the left in the direction I want the water to go. And as you can see, that arrow is there. Now, the larger the arrow, the greater the movement. So, let's just throw in a few arrows there, so you can see what we're trying to achieve. And you can even cross over the mask, as you can see. And now, if I play that, we'll get to see what happens. And um, all to, to play it, you just go up to here to the top, um, just next to the Zootropic Free sign, hit the play button, and you'll get to see there's some weird things happening there. So what that means is I'm going to have to now um, make some further corrections because you can see the sands moving, um, you can see other images of these people are moving and we definitely do not want that. So I'm going to click stop, I'm going to go back to zoom and zoom in a little bit. So what I want is to stop these people, um, these people's images sliding across altogether. Even though they're staying still as well, there's um, shadows of them seem to be moving. To do that, I just hit the stabilize one, stabilize, and this is going to allow me to put little red dots um, close, fairly close together that basically create a wall or a barrier that's going to stop them moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. You'll see here as soon as I put my finger on there, it allows me, it shows me in magnification and I'm going to put some red dots where I don't want this person to move and then I'm going to do the same on the lady down there and start and let's just see if that makes a difference so I'm going to zoom back out and then we'll hit play again So it still looks like the sand and the shadows are moving more than they should be. It's better than it was. Let's try one more. Okay, I'm actually going to try and keep those shadows still and I'm going to mask those shadows to stop the shadows moving. So I'm going to go back to my mask. Uh, sorry, we'll zoom in a little bit first. I'm going to go back to my mask tool and I'm going to mask out those shadows because obviously the shadows aren't going to move if the people aren't going to move and a little bit over here and let's put that mask tool on the shadow and 
that should make a significant difference. Let's check play again. No, oh, we're still getting the movement of the sand, which we don't want. So let's mask out some of the sand. Okay, so staying on the mask, I'm going to actually stop the sand from moving by masking it. And stop that little bit of sand there. And we might stop the sand in there as well. And we'll try that. Okay, so you can see that's now the set. The water's mainly moving, people are staying still. But the water's only moving backwards away. And what about the surf coming in behind them? Let's add to that. So click stop, go back to my motion. And this time I'm going to use sequence. And the difference between motion and sequence is in a sequence you can actually drag a curved line. So if I click sequence, now it's actually going to allow me to watch the curve that I make here. Okay, so it's actually allowing movement back in the direction where the water's coming in. So put that in there. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Only problem is the water between the two of them doesn't seem to be moving, so I need to correct that. That's probably the last thing that I need to do. So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to um, make this water, we'll use the motion and make that bit of water go in that direction. And this bit of water will also go in that general direction. Will that make a difference? Let's see. Yep, except for that piece up here, just in front of the lady. Stop there. Now the reason why that's a problem, of course, whoops, there's a good opportunity for me to show you something. I've just put in a motion arrow that I didn't mean to. See this one going down here? I don't really want that. So to get rid of it, I just hit on the um, select tool. Now I can either just select it by zooming down to the blue point, which I can't see. So what I'll do is I'll use the go around it instead. Staying with the select tool, there we go. Pressed on the blue point and it's actually allowed me to delete. So I need this piece in front of the lady to move, so I've got to get rid of that mask. So let's go to the erase tool. I'm going to erase that because so I want the water to move and then I'm going to go to my mask tool I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to just mask the sand and try not to mask the water too much so that I can then have that piece of water coming in go back to my motion that going in is it that direction I think it is in fact let's um, go to our select tool I'm going to get rid of these three all together and we'll have because they're going in different directions get rid of that back to my motion I want these three there to be going left to right okay one final click Okay, I'm just about done. Now let's just, um, add, we will export that so you can see the finished product. So I'm stopping that. Now to export, you click up on the three dots here on the right in the top right hand corner. If I click on the details tick, you can see it's just showing me basically everything that's um, been masked and all everything's there all together. Well, let's get rid of that. What I want to do is I want to export. Now, because I'm using the free version, I have to go with a logo. Uh, because it's going to cost you about $2.60 American or about $5 Australian to, um, to pay for that, to get it without the logo. And then you'd be able to adjust some of these options like the speed that it runs at, the um, how many times it loops, and the resolution. 
you don't have access to any of that unfortunately when you're using the free version but that's okay remember if you actually are using this to upload to Instagram it's going to loop anyway so you don't need to worry about the loops and if you're going to use it on YouTube well probably once is enough anyway so I'm going to click with logo now it's giving me the option for GIF and MP4 now if I click on GIF at the moment it's going to say continue with the free version or get the professional version and if I click with free version it's just going to go back in other words I can't actually download this as a GIF when it's just um, the free version I have to pay for it to get the um, to get the GIF version but I can still as you can see download the MP4 version now the the only thing with uh, to, with a paid version as well just be aware that um, the GIF option still in a paid version does not work on Android it does work on iOS however so um, just be aware of that so I'm clicking on MP4 obviously we get an ad come up every time I'm just going to get rid of the ad and here we go I'm just uh, speed that up and let that run through so there you go the video is saved into my gallery and it automatically pops up giving you the options to share that straight away to any of your social media platforms that you like whether it be YouTube um, Instagram send it via an email put it on Facebook in a tweet wherever you want to put it you don't have to do any of that though I'm just going to get out of that by hitting the back button on my um, mobile We'll go back again and then I'm just going to clear everything I'm going to go into my gallery so that you can see the finished product and the finished product is this one and click that and there you go looks a lot more interesting than just a regular photograph well Zootrop is just another fun little app that you can have on your phone and it really does uh, enliven any photograph whether it's your family shots at the beach or whether it's something more scenic like um, a waterfall or a fire or uh, some other kind of uh, shot any kind of shot where something in the photograph was moving you can make it move again. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm Ozzy Mark. Please leave a comment to let me know what you think. If you've tried Zootropic before, I'd like to know about that. And certainly I'd love to see any of your photos. So if you're on Instagram, don't forget to um, leave the link so that I can check your uh, images out and see what's happening in your part of the world. Take care. Don't forget to hit the sub button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And the bell's always a sensible thing so you get notified when new videos of mine come up. You have a fantastic day. Take care for now. Bye.